All right, hello everyone. Just getting situated here, but welcome to the cast. I'm Palador, and I will be your pilot for the uh, for this evening, or at least for this match. I have some awful news to report, though, and that is my gamepad is not working. So I might have to go for just the uh, standard old sideline cams. How inconvenient is that? Uh, but nonetheless, we'll make do with what we've got. Apparently. Lolo saying, who is Palador? What an irrelevant pun master. Well, now what an irrelevant comment, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, hi. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the comments, even if they are varying degrees of insulting. Now, if you meant irreverent, that's an entirely different thing, in which case, thank you. I don't know. Anyway, welcome to the streams all the same. We got two games going on here uh, on either channel, channel one and channel two. Just trying to situate with the teams, uh, doing a solo cast here on this channel, so apologies for the brief uh, moment of silence, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, just trying to figure out exactly who's where, where the fourth player is, and whatnot, and how that's all going on. But uh, yes, so on uh, either or on the uh, orange side, we do have the underrated rookies who we uh, do know from the Rookie Cup. So one of the the winners of the Rookie Cup, uh, for that matter. One of the few teams among our hundred new ones that I actually can remember or, uh, well, I, not remember so much as have context behind. There's so many new players, it's really difficult to uh, to come in too prepared with anything except excitement because of, uh, yeah, just that increased activity mentioned in the cast earlier tonight on Channel 1 as, as well. I mean, going from 40 to 140 teams in the span of just a couple months, pretty ridiculous, gotta say. Uh, but yes, so it's just uh, trying once again to see where the teams are going. It is start time, however, a little bit of a delay. I'm not, not sure what's going on on the blue side of things for Electric. But uh, indeed, underrated rookies, a team of a uh, yellow man, Flem Enthusiast. There's a recognizable name from last season. Uh, Sphinx, Tammy, Bendy Niles, and Zeke. So a full six-person roster on these not-so-underrated rookies. Again, having their, their success uh, kind of earn their rights to be called just, you know, the, the rated rookies. Nothing else. They're currently rated at the gold uh, division. Of course, uh, the highly volatile will be the rankings over the next couple weeks. I can only imagine. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, you know, that was kind of the partial reason for... Uh, the week zero stuff, of course. We just get some of the uh, rankings underneath and underneath the feet. Get people used to the format. Allow them to, uh, you know, get a little bit of MMR. But again, the, the MMR system comes more in handy and gets more and more accurate as you get some more placement games under your wings. So as you face teams, you'll rise and fall up the ladder. I mean, ideally rise, but nonetheless. Can we get a pub, uh, pun count, says Bob. You could. We'll see what happens. <laughs> see Della Ranger in there as well. Mild Salsa. Lolo saying, it wasn't an insult, just a fact. Well, facts can be insulting. Doesn't make them less true. I can be insulted as I wish. Don't tell me what to do. But uh, that's irrelevant. <laughs> anyway. All right, so again. Uh, for some strange reason, some very strange reason, my cam controls, my free cam does not work. I was trying to fiddle with it, and hence why I was a little bit delayed in getting started. But nonetheless, we're going to get started as it is. So first shot right away uh, is going to come in. 
if we get started here, but uh, again, apologies for that. Just trying to figure out. It's highly frustrating. I've never had my 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 free cam just not work like that before. Huh. I feel so, uh, what's the word? Useless! <laughs> I suppose. It's like my hands are tied behind my back, and now we gotta deal with this angle. Well, oh, oh, all is well. This is the start of Season 2, Day 1, of course. And we're bound to have some hitches along the way. And all things considered, a non-functional uh, controller is the least of my worries of the day. So, hey, we're good. In any case, Tammy, with the disc, I'm gonna sling it over to the top. Uh, gonna reach the hands eventually. Oh, perhaps not. Dodged, actually. And taken by AXZ Beast. Trying to uh, get the disc back here, but... Over to Down, Down Coast Dolphin, another one of those uh, great names. That's nothing else. I'm looking forward to seeing all the great names of this league. They're always so creative, especially. Uh, but here it comes. It's going to be Jonah with a dish off and a dump into the goal. That was a really nice move uh, to get them their first couple points. Gotta love it. So starting off again the right way here. And uh, it's tied up at two apiece just a couple minutes into the game. So off into the launch. It's going to be taken here by Flem. Flem just trying to sling that over into the bottom ramp now is where it's going to bounce. Reaching the wedge and just dodging the hands of a couple players as they brawl. Uh, down coast Dolphin gets a stun. Heads on over to the bow tie to Jonah. Jonah looking across now once again. Top. And won't fall to the hands. Instead, YOLO man... We'll send it over to the tunnel. Can't get a clean clear, so just ricochets around before bouncing back to the hands of the aforementioned YOLO. Uh, gets it to Tammy now. Now Tammy just uh, forwarding it. Uncontested for the meantime at the very least. And seeing if there's uh, anything they can, they can do here. We'll see the back pass going out nicely to the midfield. And uh, down coast Dolphin just trying to pressure that mid lane a bit. Lolo asking, uh, how's your day, Palador? Well, terrible. Ever since you called me irrelevant. Literally the worst, the most irrelevant day of my life. Otherwise, actually pretty good. Uh, been a tiring week leading up to leading up to the start here of uh, week one of season two. But, you know, it's all worth it. Especially seeing all those uh, roster teams coming in and stuff. So, nah, in actuality, it's, it's great. It's great. It's fun. Fun times. As the Sphinx gets the disc and uh, right on time, it's Jonah. Doesn't miss the disc. Checking behind, needs to check above because there's the defense from Tammy. A good dish off though, and right for the dunk it is. Down coast, the utmost of slams. And that's uh, four points here going to Electric over the underrated rookies. Lolo saying, I bet you're feeling pretty imprisoned without the free cam. I really am. <laughs> I even restarted the client. Uh, if you notice that on stream before we got started, just to see if I can get it working. I mean, the, everything's lighting up, except uh, the light bulb in my head, apparently. Very restricting. After doing about, what, five, five or six hundred matches with free cam, suddenly I'm all tied up. This game, however, is not tied up. It's a two-point lead for Electric, and they're trying uh, to maybe advance this lead if they can get the disc right back, but they will not. Jonah getting stunned there by Tammy. Uh, Tammy just as well being stunned, so a little bit of revenge game coming in from Beast and his stuns as the clear goes through, but in the uh, deep back line, there will be a player, Flem Enthusiast, kind of a uh, position that we're used to seeing him in in that, in that midfield and just the uh, deep back pockets where, of any team that he's defending for. Very, very skilled goalkeeper for sure. A good pass, though. And, oh, there he is, right on cue. Flem Enthusiast. He gets the save, and he gets the clear through, but not for very long because Cats, not napping at all on the defense, will get the disc back not once but twice, it uh, would seem. So Cat dishing to Jonah. Jonah right back. Some great passing coming in, but couldn't finish the shot, unfortunately. A really nice team play, though. I like uh, what I'm seeing from these two teams in terms of you're getting the cross passes, you're getting the the uh, resets, the back passes, so some good meta-style play for sure, as another pass goes, well, past the hands of the intended target, but they'll still recover before uh, getting it to the pocket, where even though it's a little bit off, uh, it was still soft enough touch on the disc uh, to eventually recover. That said, the clear uh, gets nowhere except Flem's hands. So Flem, once again, trying to get that through. 
Let's see. Let's see if I can get get fancy at all with uh, the shift keys here. Maybe do something different. Oh, a good steal coming in actually from it's Yolo, and he's gonna go low for the goal, and it's four to four. There's a tie finally, and I know, I know the disc wasn't actually that low. I mean, whatever. It rhymed, so I, I felt like the risk was worth it. Never you mind. Uh, but four to four, all the same, and uh, uh, about halfway through this round, a little over in fact, this is still the first round, so 425 remaining, and we'll see what these teams opt for as we get the joust going out. Uh, so there's a grab by Katz, and Katz getting the disc over uh, to Jonah. Jonah finding another pass down low, but uh, I like the ideas that we're seeing from Electric. They're going for the right passes. Some of the passes a little bit strong, so it's not actually reaching the mitts. But, I mean, the concept is correct. They're going for the right plays and the right moves. That said, look at the moves there. With some speed, gets the goal to go up 6-4. It's Yolo Man. A very effective boost right down center lane to uh, just corral that in for the open one. There you go. I mean, clear and away for the two. Uh, yeah, the... In, for whatever reason, in, in, in the sideline mode, the uh, the goal effects do go away, as you can see there. The, um, what do you call it? Just the, the light-up effects, the particle effects. I don't know. It's one of those words. I, I'm, I'm going to keep saying Bud's words until I get one of them right. Nonetheless, uh, Yellow Man gets a disc right back. Saying his name a lot, he's all over that disc a plenty for sure. And just a lot of back and forth play. There's Yellow Man again with a good grab at short range, ducking through just a plethora of f uh, defenders in the midfield, being assaulted, but does manage to find the pass nonetheless to Tammy. Uh, Tammy going low to Flem Enthusiast. Now Flem with a shot, just gonna miss off the backboard, but still rebound Tammy now. So Tammy slinging it on over again. Uh, Cat's getting stunned out at the goal as they try to recover that disc once more. And uh, there you go, they're gonna have some more attacks. Uh, yet, with still, what, 247 remaining in this first round. Very close game, lower scoring, but very, very intense. And uh, as I said, for being uh, one of these newer teams, uh, who to me is unknown, obviously to a lot of the people watching this, whether live or in the VODs, they're going to know the rosters more than I am at this point. A uh, good shot, open shot, but just missed. So it would have been a good opportunity to uh, potentially, potentially uh, take a, a lead there had the three been hit. So uh, for them, they're just going to kind of wipe that off the memory bank and, and get right back to it again. Don't let the miss affect you. Get right back into the game and get some more shots if they can. But it uh, looks like just uh, some more loose disc off of these brawls, these stuns. You can see the positioning at the midfield there, uh, trying to play kind of a triangle offense, which is really nice. You see Yellow there with the anchor uh, going for that pass. Couldn't get that one, but... Uh, Will be rebounded instead by Jonah. Jonah getting stunned out here as it goes off to the side once more. And deep in the back line, there's Flem, ever so reliable, uh, to hopefully corral for his team. Did I jinx it? Maybe. No, they're going to double stun each other, but a timely grab from Tammy. That's a very important one, considering the goal was a left wide open there for just a moment or two. Uh, but Beast is going to get the clear there, and a good stun from Flem Enthusiast as well, just to deny a grab. So here we go. Uh, clear off a uh, two-point lead. Four underrated rookies here. Meanwhile, for Electric on Blue, they're looking for their chance to maybe tie it up here. They've got a minute 15 to do it here in this first round still. And uh, that's just going to sail right off that corner and uh, three players getting back into that bubble. Uh, but ultimately, will be grabbed right back by Tammy. So Tammy finding a top bound clear as it goes right down uh, to the waiting hands of Down Ca Coast Dolphin. And he'll get the clear as well. So 52 seconds left. There's still time, just not a lot of it. But at this point, I mean, definitely will take anything they can get. So there's the clear. Here we go. Uh, all they need now is that ever-important boost. So down the floor they go, covering off goal real quick on defense as well. Underrated rookies doing so. But a good stun, timely, and the clear. Uh, but right into the awaiting hands of the, of the midfield defender, Katz, finding Jonah. Jonah off to the other side there. Just trying to back it out one more time. 30 seconds, maybe take the last shot if they can. So here it goes, up high, over to the nest, and you know the rest. It's a tied up match, and quite possibly OT 6-6. Six to six. And that was extremely well played. So see, a lot of teams in that situation, they might have taken that first opportunity uh, with, what, 30 seconds left or so? And that would have been great if they got the shot, right? It would have tied it up, but the problem is that would have left a still a solid 10-15 seconds or so uh, for underrated rookies to come back. 
and, and take the last shot on the other side. So I really like the fact that Electric, uh, they got the reset. They back pass it out to their midfielder just to expend a few extra seconds and then allow their teammates to kind of get into position. And uh, yeah, as a result, they were able to get the last shot and give no time at all for a score. So here's overtime, speaking of the time, and there's a clear once again uh, going through to the other side of electric side. The boost ever important, but Cat's kind of doing what uh, Flem was doing on the other end. That is to say, playing deep in that back line and not trying to concede all too much as uh, the disc gets passed off to the Beast himself. Another pass being delivered to down coast Dolphin. Now he's going to scan the situation, but just gets stunned instead. So a minute and a half left uh, in this overtime situation. Of course, sudden death. And we'll see what happens. There's Beast going for a pass up to the shoulder, but great stop by Flem Enthusiast. Again, proving the defense is still there. Uh, a month since I last saw him. Now driving it in for a goal. YOLO gets it to go. So underrated rookies. Squeezing through a victory. I'm sure it wasn't uh, nearly, nearly as uh, safe of a victory as they would have liked in that overtime. But you know what? They got it done eventually. And electric credit to them, though. They really brought it back and had themselves a great second half of uh, that first round. It was really close all the way through. Hence the OT. <laughs> but a very good start to this series. Always hoping for those third rounders whenever possible. All right, so seems like the teams are discussing something. I'm not quite sure what. Either way, we'll go to the highlight screens and uh, just see how that kind of played out for them. But, uh, yeah, I mean, as you can see, we got YOLO Man, the six points leading the way. Four underrated rookies, so doing some dirty work on the offense. Of course, on the defense, doing the dirty work was Flem. Never mind all the midfield corrals, but just uh, the three saves. He had some timely stuns in there near the bubble to deny. Yeah, Tammy with uh, two points as well, 15 stuns on the uh, electric side of things. Four points for Down Coast Dolphin, and then two for Jonah as we make our way to the start of the second round. But yeah, absolutely. Some uh, great back and forth play to start off that match. And gotta love the fact that on day one, we already got ourselves some OT situations unfolding. So, how about that? But as for everyone else, welcome there. Uh, to the stream. Nightfire saying that can work though. Yeah, I don't know don't know if you've been listening the whole time, but uh, my free cams just decided not to work for some reason, so I'm just uh, I'm kind of winging it on the keyboard end of things, which is to say I'm pretty limited in what I can do camera-wise, but I'm trying. I'm trying to manage. Nonetheless, uh, overtaking it is Yellow Man going to back pass that one out. Uh, eventually reaching the hands of Sphinx and Sphinx right back to Yolo. So Yolo taking that disc uh, from the bottom, not being contested all too heavily. A soft pass goes over. Looks like we might have gotten a crash there. Uh, unfortunate for Electric, so they're down to three players for the meantime. And, uh, of course, there is the option for potential tech tech restart after a uh, goal is scored here. But nonetheless, uh, they got to defend, and ideally for them, get back soon if they can. So up to the midfield it goes, and over there is Tammy with a disc going to anchor off, or push off the anchor, that is to say, as Yellow Man tries to reach for it, but a little bit too much mustard on it, so couldn't corral the first one, but off the bounce. Fortunate retrieval uh, before dishing it back line, and a good punch, though, from Beast. So despite the fact they are down a person, they're actually holding in uh, pretty admirably here for the last minute or so, uh, despite being outnumbered again. I mean, the first match was mighty close, and uh, this match... At least so far, this second round, that is, mighty close. So, down coast. He's mighty coast. They're trying to get that disc right back for him. But Yellow Man, there he is again, being stunned, however. So, really just sticking on the side of the floor. I mean, uh, Electric's doing a great job of uh, kind of maintaining that, that, that uh, defensive pressure. But they've had a hard time getting it onto the orange side here until finally uh, they got this one here. But... Just not really finding the boost, which of course, being down a man, it's going to be a bit more difficult to really find the extra players to get those double stacks with. So we'll see what happens. I mean, another overtake Pike Cats, and right back through yet again. So let's see here as uh, Flem gets that back, just doing the midfield damage as he typically does. 
down to Sphinx, though, to the bottom. And that's a good delivery for maybe, just maybe, but no. No, baby, no goal. Yellow Man, instead, trying to duck through move, just gets stunned instead. Gets going duck hunting there on the defense. So good job in the de denial, but see, the problem is with Flem always there in the midline, the, the disc just goes inevitably towards his uh, direction as a uh, ceiling shot p potentially being taken. Now finally some boost coming in, some good stuns, but unable to recover initially. A Tammy is going to be there for an attempted grab and does get the clear. So you can see a Beast brawling with him and now just trying to look for the boost on the opposite side of things. Down Coast Dolphin still <laughs> holding strong. Um, we're what, two minutes, two and a half minutes now that they've been down a player? And yet, we're scoreless in the second round still. So Flem holding on to the disc. And now getting it over to Tammy. So Tammy now holding on, holding steady. Over in the goal. It's going to be Katz just trying to uh, wait and uh, ideally not have to face off against the offense. Uh, here it comes. Tammy getting uh, the disc and will get the goal. So... Two points, 333 <laughs> into that round. And finally, we've got ourselves a score now. Let's see if we do get a restart or not. That's uh, that's the question. I mean, thus far, it looks like uh, they're just playing on, so not entirely sure what the issue may or may not have been. But nonetheless, we're rolling on. Looks like they're just opting to play. I mean, all things considered, uh, they've been playing quite well in both rounds with four players or three. And speaking of, there's the fourth. So, all right, right back into it. Maybe no restart necessary. Uh, they've got Jonah 5 back in the mix here on the roster. So, down Coast Dolphin, sending it over top-wise to uh, Flem Enthusiast just there. No, again, anytime that's cleared, if it's not a pass, if, if it's just a clear, it's going to find Flem's hands more often than a blue team would like. But 527 remaining as Sphinx. Just going up high, trying to kind of cross the fingers and hope someone finds it. Unfortunately, it was only the Beast. Who gets it to Flem? You see what I mean? <laughs> Flem just does not give up on the disc. He's going to be in the right place for every one of those long clears, long shots. Now, speaking of trying to drive in on the goal, couldn't do so. Yellow Man over to the mid lane. Now, down Coast Dolphin. Passing it over, so there's Jonah, five with a disc, lining it up. We got some good positioning here from Electric. Excellent, in fact. You see Nest, shoulder, and bow tie all covered, so that is fantastic positioning from Electric. But underrated rookies trying to hold strong. Again, they're the uh, kind of defending rookie cup champions, if you will. Saw them uh, towards, when was that? About early, early to mid-May, and that was a really fun time for sure. So Yolo with a disc here has a teammate attached, just diving off now. So another good pass. So I like I like the uh, positioning here as well from the underrated rookies, and just weaving a shot right through a multitude of defenders. It's a uh, Tammy once again got uh, both the goals in this round for underrated rookies. So four minutes remaining. But uh, if any, if there's any indication given by that first series, that first round earlier on, not out of the woods at all. Now we saw kind of a low scoring first round as well and it ultimately resulted in an overtime situation uh, thanks to some last minute heroics there. Uh, but over here, a good pass, but cut off nicely by Flem. Kind of the right idea in the pass, however, it was a little bit far out, so when you go for those long passes, it's definitely uh, one of those things to watch out for. Good goalies know how to dive, and speaking of diving, Beast, a good grab, but right back to Tammy, and Tammy the quick pass before the defense approaches, so up high to the shoulder, and Yolo Man going to be assaulted there before getting it over to Tammy, and Tammy off the backboard, and then grabbing it out, though, is Cats, so couldn't convert on that opportunity, and I'm sure for Electric, they're going to... Uh, be quite okay with that. Now let's see though if they can defend it twice. That's the problem when you get all these resets and, and multiple opportunities. You know it's going to cost you eventually, uh, especially for offenses like this. You know that are really trying to prioritize uh, those those crosses and you know just looking for their teammates. The 
So Flem again with a disc there, and right back to Cats. It's just just a battle of attrition. It's a war of chess, whatever you want to call it. You know, you have one deep backliner getting the grab, then you have the other deep backliner getting the grab. So it's just a, a stalemate uh, for a lot of these back and forth clears, of course. For underrated rookies, they are ultimately capitalizing more over the course of the uh, the match so far. So see if they do it again. Sphinx with a disc. Looking over to Tammy from down below. Just going to be absolutely collapsed upon. But oh, look at the fortunate roll right to the hands of YOLO Man. So assist from Tammy. Again, just getting knocked loose off of those, those brawls. And uh, just right place, right time. And that's exactly what good positioning will buy uh, a team. So even sometimes when you don't intend, you know, that... Not necessarily intending for that to be a pass, or or sometimes you'll have these passes kind of go astray. If you're positioned well and covering each side of the arena, uh, it's more and more likely that that disc will end up coming right back to your own team on the offense. So, Getting them exactly what they needed here at 6 points. There's a minute and 36 seconds remaining as we get a takeover by Tammy. Tammy's just going to go right in for another goal. 8 points with 90 seconds remaining. And uh, that could very well be... A little bit too much of a gap to close with this amount of time remaining. Not mathematically impossible, but just unlikely it's going to be tough. So, I think uh, for Electric, I saw a lot of good things for them in this match. In terms of positioning and trying to prioritize those passes. But ultimately what cost, uh, cost them was just the constant uh, clears into the deep backliners. Like you see right here, they're getting the disc back. They're looking for the immediate pass. Gotta love the teamwork. Uh, but full credit to underrated rookies. You know, they're positioning here, able to get the disc back. Credit to Flem Enthusiast for a lot of the, that midfielding. And then on the other end, what a shot from Tammy! Oh, Mammy. <laughs> uh, 11 points, and that is a huge hit just to cap it off. 42 meters deep. Uh, what a great hit from Tammy in what was a great match from underrated rookies looking to uh, close this one out on a uh, 11 to 0 this time and this is following round one overtime uh, but yeah just dominant performance here for the orange folk so round two will indeed go their way for the underrated rookies one more shot coming in from down coast dolphin to cap it off granted but just a little bit too late but at very least uh, will deny the shutout so moral victories there Nothing else, and uh, you know, fun match overall. Yeah, I was, I'm, I'm super curious with all these teams, and since my goal over the uh, course of the season is to stream and cast as many, if not all of these new teams, quite frankly, at least once, because I really wanna, really wanna get a look, you know. But that's always the question coming into these matches where I'm not super familiar. Is just, you know, how, how, uh, how meta are these teams exactly? How, uh. You know, what kind of strategies do they utilize, and does it differ from the people on the Rift? And But, you know, we saw a little bit of it in the Rookie Cup for sure with some impressive team play, and I think it's only carried over now across the last uh, month plus or uh, since then. And we're definitely just seeing that progression of the teams. So with that said, uh, that will be the game set match there for underrated rookies. Uh, getting the closeout, first one, 8-6 to six in the overtime situation. And it was 12 to 2 in this uh, second round, so a little bit less close there. But again, you can maybe hear the players in the background uh, of the stream, perhaps saying, "Yeah, that first game was close," and offering the good games and good sportsmanship is always a, a certainly a fun part of uh, watching these games and these casts. Now that said, we do have another round, uh, another match we're supposed to maybe transition to. So I'm gonna need to coordinate. So uh, unfortunately for you guys, you're gonna have to deal with a uh, briefly silent stream. <laughs> But thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy the highlights and some very light background music for a few.
All right, welcome back everybody to VR Master League. Uh, just getting ready to get started here shortly in our next game, which is, to say, going to be a Neutron versus Carbon. So uh, I am the casting booth right now, back here in Channel 2. I'm Palador, being joined by Sputnik Cobra over from uh, Channel 1, just streaming a match over there. So uh, welcome, welcome to the 2 zone. I think it's a song. <laughs> Born in the 80s, oh, didn't rip, spend mate. much time uh, in there. Now I just unmuted you, sorry. Sputnik was saying he's so <laughs> excited and just can't hide it. Thank you, Dimwee, so for the assist. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. But, no, I'm really excited for Channel 2, and I can't even speak. I'm just so excited for this week uh, 1. Just We're here, It's it's Season 2, and... We've made it into another season, and we're bigger and better, and it's, it's so good to be casting alongside you, Palado, the man who makes everything happen, and it's just, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, thanks for that. I'm trying to make things happen, but for those who might not have tuned into the last, uh, last cast, I unfortunately was having, and still am having, uh, controller difficulties, so you're gonna have to deal with, uh, my regular old keyboard cams, which is... To say it's a thing. Uh, enjoy <laughs> round one, starting off right away. And here we go. We're gonna be taken first over by Carbon here on Orange. So we can see apparently uh, all doing in the match. Uh, we are making note of. Uh, but Big all doing being a sub. Uh, he formerly played for. Uh, I actually forgot the team name. But with that pass into the bubble and another pass below the goal, they'll find that shot. Big bot with the assist by Angelic Sniper. Boosty Boys, I believe, in season one. I think it, w I think it was Legends. The oh, you're ta the we're Canadian talking. And... Yes, we're talking recent, recent. Gotcha. So, so, sorry, you continue. So, Big Bot uh, gets the first shot, and we're right back into it. Welcome to everyone here on channel two joining the stream. See fifty some in there. So, welcome, welcome, as we continue on our streams for this day one. I won't lie, it's been it's been up and down, but here going for the goal, maybe on the pass too too far down to grab it. And uh, right back at him with a grab. It's gonna be the man big bot again with a good plan and some good hands. There's four points immediately on the board. And look at them behind the goal celebrating. They're they're doing hand they're doing handshakes, there's <laughs> they're doing high fives, they're doing something. There's no hand collision, so we really couldn't see, but four points, two carbon. And then they've taken the lead with less than 90 seconds off the clock. Yeah, that's a, I mean, talk about a hot start. That's a pretty good one for them, for sure. As uh, we get Tickle Britches, one of, again, my favorite names in all of Echo Arena. I, every time I see his name, no matter how often or seldom, I just got to call it out. I love it so much. Uh, I'll do it in here, though. Was going to go with a cross pass right to the aforementioned, but couldn't get it. And instead going to the wedge. With that no-look cross pass, it looked like he was going to make the attempt on goal. And with that cross pass, he's going to get it off the wall. Alduin looking for these passes as he approaches the bubble. Yeah, and then some really quick passes here coming in. There's a, with a shot from Big Bot again, he's already scored a couple times, but couldn't get that one, unfortunately, and just going to be contested here. Uh, will be eventually Angelic Sniper uh, with a nice snipe pass for the shot to Alduin, and it is Alduin the goal for seven points. 
That anchor shot was looking pretty, getting it right above the sneeze guard into that upper pocket. <laughs> Forgot you called that. Uh, called it that. That's still one of my uh, favorite phrases of yours, I think, along with the wizard sleeve stuff. But yeah, it's well, good, it's good to be back. <laughs> It is good to be back, and we love what we're doing, and we love to watch all of this beautiful play. It's Echo Arena is such a, an amazing game. It's I'm going to get a little sentimental, but with that, clear out. The save being awarded to Shots. Neutron with possession, trying to get it upfield, but they'll throw another interception, and hey. Big Bot will finish it with a 15-meter three. Well, who else again? Big Bot with the aim bot on that hot shot. 10 to 0, under 7 uh, minutes left. And hot start. What is he up to? Well, 7 points out of the 10. So, yeah, uh, Big Bot opening up uh, this stream, the first stream of, of his, really nicely. System Slayer to rise to upper ramp, able to avoid that incoming stack, blitzing the QB, but they'll throw an interception. Tickle Bridges will more than happily take it, setting it up to bow tie, and they'll take their time as they approach this bubble. Now, that pass was going to be intended for Tickle Britches, but uh, they're all... I love that name. They were all uh, brawling and, and scrubbing, so couldn't really get too much done, but we'll still retain the disc as they go up to the shoulder, uh, holding it up for too long. Who else? It's Big Bot again. 12 points now uh, for this team, and he alone has, what, nine? Yeah, nine, so... Wow. <laughs> Dash saying in chat, the what, Pally? The what, Bot? Did you say aimbot? And Dash being the champion of season one, one of the champions of season one, a longtime player, played on Joker, and with these quick passes and the stun, able to get that forward progress and not able to finish it, will bounce off the lower rim and out of bubble. That was almost a really slick series of moves from him. Couldn't get, uh, get it quite done, but nonetheless, you got to appreciate some of the flair you're seeing there. Uh, but... Off to, uh, again, the tunnel. Tickle Britches with that disc right back. Going to distribute over on to Big Bot. Is he going to do it again? No, sir. Finally being stopped on a good save there. Looked like a, by shots, I believe. But either way, they're going to get it back here and right back at him again. Uh, this time missing Alduin's hands. You can see he got kind of crisscross, had an anchor in the uh, opposite hand. So sailed past him. And uh, now will be the clear going off. Way into the orange end. Up by a dozen. But uh, Angelic Sniper... Seeing if they can get it back and maybe get some more points yet on the board. Still have five minutes left here in this uh, first round. Sniper will throw that interception. A little past his teammate, but Alduin at the back line to receive it. And Alduin is going to be uh, approached by the defense there, so gets rid of it in time and just tries for a rather clever bouncer that does get over to Big Bot. Good delivery, an angelic sniper. Didn't really have to snipe that one. That was just close quarters and... Uh, they're getting all the loose change. 14 points now. Coin purse is ringing. They've got 14 points on the board. Doing very well for themselves. And Alduin definitely leading the charge. Or helping to lead the charge. Excuse me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I mean, 416. And we're seeing if they can get on the board yet. But just uh, some strong efforts being put on on the offensive end as much as anything else. Let's see if they do it again. Here it goes. Cross pass, but just missing the hands. Another crisscross, but uh, look at the positioning here. You know, from Carbon, they're just on every corner. A place really well, had it not been for Graham Cracker with the good steal and the clear, uh, enabling this perhaps open shot if they get there early enough, but not quite. Slap down to the floor, trying to retrieve it, trying to get that stun, trying to get that block. Graham Cracker will send it right into the bubble, and Alduin, a very formidable goalie, able to read it and leave goal to get possession. Now, see, I used to go with the, the Graham Cracker pun when talking about JL Graham, but I can't do that anymore because there's a player named Graham Cracker. And furthermore, I think JL is now named Jiggy, like actually in the game. I don't know. So that's that's one pun I could never do ever again, but that's yes. okay. <laughs> uh, JL Graham, uh, a player on Redshift. Yes. Uh, we, uh... We made the executive decision to change his name to Jiggy, and he he made the choice as well. And we love the name change. He was called Jiggy anyway, and now his name in game matches the name that we call him. Well, that's that's a good enough answer for me, I guess. I mean, it's well reasoned, but uh, that's okay because you know with, with with Jiggy, I can just open up the door. Speaking of, to new puns, but there's Big Bot. It gets another goal. It's 16. 
And that's just a dominant first round, needless to say, uh, here from Carbon. Uh, just really showing showing what they've got up the sleeve, which is to say the Wizard's sleeve, which is to say Big Pot 11 points thus far. And Sir Dimwi coming through in chat saying, getting jiggy with it, definitely, definitely not going to use any Will Smith jokes. And with the steal, why, why Angelic not, Sniper. Why not, 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 is all I got to <laughs> say to that. But my bad, uh, Angelic Sniper with the goal. I don't think that was that was worth distracting from the shop, but I just thank you, Dimwi. I blame you. <laughs> All I'm thinking about is the Wild Wild West soundtrack, and now with possession, we'll go into the hands of Graham Cracker. So Graham Cracker with it, he's looking for a pass. He's taking his time, but it will be taken by Big Bot. Big Bot gonna Ooh. send that shot through, but Shots is there to stop it. Yeah, just turned around in time, so shot with a shot block, and now getting stunned right beneath those blocks, uh, but not before getting the pass off. System Slayer uh, going for a good pass over, trying to hit that corner and hit the center. So uh, really nice, just extra pass. Didn't have to do it per se, but it, it was just all the more close, all the more open, and uh, that's just a nice dish to buy themselves that first uh, three-pointer here for Neutron. This 15 point lead and less than 90 seconds on the clock. This first round is well in the hands of Carbon. And Carbon, uh, you know, just getting those uh, essentially those those rhythm building points at the end of rounds we talk about. But look at that good rhythm on the pass, but the good save from shot, shot blocked again. So just showing maybe the namesake is more so a warning. Like, don't test me, those shots are mine. That clear attempt towards mid will go into the hands of Angelic Sniper, and they're not giving up. Neutron is trying to get points on, more points on the board. They've got three, and it will sail past that backline player, and it'll be picked up by Tridian. And he's going to uh, get stunned by Big Bot again. So all over the floor, really. Uh, but more punches, and 30 seconds left. This is uh, going to be the conclusion of the first round momentarily here. As it gets collected one more time for maybe another chance at a goal and get some of those late game points. But look at that swipe. Uh, swiper. Yes, swiping. Tickle britches. Uh, getting that one through and maybe enabling a, just a breakaway goal. Let's see. There it goes. Tickle britches does it all. That, he just places that right in in the upper pocket. He definitely Ooh. wears the pants on this team. I wonder if they tickle him. That's awful. I, I take that one back. That was so painful. All I need some tickle <laughs> stitches, but no, right. Oh. Well, 20 to 3 on round one, and that's a strong victory indeed for them. Sput, give us the stats before I get in trouble. <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta bring these stats. I'm too busy laughing, but Big Bot with 11 points to start off this first round. Two steals. Tickle Bridge is coming through with two points, one stay, six stuns. Angelic Sniper, four points, three assists, one steal, and. Aldoween playing that back line with three points. And looking at Neutron, Tridian with three points, eight stuns. The System Slayer with one assist and eight stuns. Shots coming through with three saves, really finding some rhythm in the later half of that first round. And Graham Cracker himself coming through with four stuns. Yeah, so see if just based off, again, they got some good looks, especially towards the end there for uh, Neutron, but just couldn't quite convert on some of them. I mean, they got the late game three, which was off a, a good assist there from uh, System Slayer to uh, Titan. And uh, just one of those extra extra plays I do like, because you know, anyone who knows me or has played with me in the past, and I know it's been a while, but yeah, you know, they know I love the passes. That's uh, that's what I'm all about. Nothing nothing better than just the extra assist to teammates. So I, I do like to see, uh, even on the the last match on this stream, uh, from about half an hour ago, just seeing all the uh, the good team play and the willingness to really pass and try and work it up the floor. You know, in, in controlled manners for uh, these teams. It's, it's great to see among the uh, the new base that we've gotten here in season two. Sailing past the hands of a player of. Neutron will go right into the Angelic Sniper's hands. He'll go for a difficult angle. And back at that floor will be Tickle Bridges. So up to post. And again, an attempt off the backboard will bounce out of bubble. And that's uh, just slingshotting up to the awaiting hands of a defender. Graham Cracker takes a few ricocheted bounces off the mid lane. Right into the tunnel now as the uh, team just try and encroach upon it. You can hear the brawls just going off in the distance. But 
Now uh, deep to the back of the line, attempting to anyways, but a bad bounce will be taken by Graham Cracker with a lane, but couldn't convert on anything quite there. Uh, too much claustrophobia going on, it seems. And they're definitely feeling the pressure, the oppressive pressure of carbon. They're hard as diamonds, and they definitely look like it, not letting anything through. So up to System Slayer, and they get back to defense. Big Bot gets the steal from behind. So possession back to Carbon, and they're looking to put more points on the board with this offensive possession. Yeah, Big Bot, they're trying to do a uh, kind of a shielding move there, let go of the disc, grab it back, but didn't fall for the bait. Uh, credit to them. So instead, Neutron getting a deep clear, going to bounce off the corner, but there's just look four players. Everyone there arriving first uh, from Carbon with a lot of time to spare at that, so very, very efficient on the stacks. Clear will sail through mid, missed by that backline player of Neutron. And up into the hands of Big Bot. Big Bot looking to put more points on the board. And he'll send it off the backboard, off the Geo, bounce off post. It'll be a scramble as no one saw that coming. It'll be slapped out towards mid. Yeah, so right back at him as some more brawls go on in the back line. It's just going to uh, ultimately enable Carbon to collect that disc with, uh, again, just a lot of time to spare. Now, Granted, in round two, it hasn't resulted in uh, points yet, either way. But maybe that's about to change here with this deep clear. And looking to get possession, it will be Tickle Bridges, your favorite player. It will up to Alduin, and Alduin looking ahead at that stack incoming, but he gets the pass to Big Bot and Tube. So with shots playing in the goal, holding in the bubble, and with these players coming in for defense, looking strong, and he'll get it. Shot's not able to respond. Maybe he threw his hand too quickly and lost it. He's maybe waving his arm. He's saying, I don't have my hand. There's no way for me to get that save. No, I'll give him a hand. I have two free ones since my free cams aren't working right now. Which, again, by the way, that, that would be the reason, chat. Uh, but yes, so Big Bot does convert first. He was the, the hot hand definitely in the first round. Took him a couple extra minutes, but finally got some of it back and... Uh, we'll see what happens here with another stun and a retrieval. So Big Bot again making his name known, but so is Graham Cracker, the uh, the Jacker there stealing the disc. And throwing that pass cross court, it will be wide. It will bounce off the Geo and under pressure, System Slayer will get a stun, but they'll retrieve it and into the hands of Angelic Sniper and down to the floor. It'll bounce off the Geo and Graham Cracker is looking for the clear. And he does get it right uh, through the midfielder as well. Someone back there kind of biding the time, but unable to really retrieve. Uh, now this time you see it once more. I mean, this has been a constant. Uh, four players for Carbon, all getting back off these stacks quickly. Uh, that time there were a couple Neutron players who did manage to meet them there. But again, just Carbon doing a stellar job of uh, winning these races end to end of the arena. Looking to make that attempt and getting it will be Tickle Britches. So... Another two points, a four-point lead, looking really strong is Co Team Carbon. That they are. Six minutes left, despite the lower score of the, the second round. They're still uh, still in good position here to keep it rolling, uh, but you do have to give some credit. Oh, but that just they say that a missed shot as well, so some back-to-back -back kind of misfortunes uh, will still result in a grab by Big Bot. He's going to deliver it right up to the one-on-one -on -one to Angelic Sniper. Floating on in Angelic Lee for the six points. This this angel stings like a demon with these shots. And I don't know if that was a good one. You can kind of tell me if it was. My silence speaks volume. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh... Can't, can't win them all. You should have heard some of my ones earlier. It, it just doesn't. Yeah. It, it's, it's a tough life trying to be on top of the puns. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at it, and I feel like season two is maybe the time for me to shine. But with that bounce what? out of bubble like and into the hands, like a, <laughs> you see, you're much better at this than me. I was just thinking of uh, the Beyonce song. Not, not any Anyways, point is, uh, Angelic Sniper, speaking of, there you go again. Uh, Pass deep into the other side. We'll just lightly bounce right back into the uh, hands, finally, of Tickle Bridges, finding a up high pass to the ceiling and right back again. So a little bit, again, you got to wonder, maybe they had such a successful first round as well. Uh, kind of almost lulled into kind of that, that automation where they're maybe not quite as, uh, you know, on all, all uh, gears, if that's the right terminology. You know, they're not 
work in like the same kind of machine where it was just endless scoring. But of course, part of that is indeed due to the good hands of uh, Neutron. And you saw Graham Cracker. He had another steal momentarily, but still will uh, ultimately leave it to this one-on-one, -on -one, potentially two-on-one -on -one about to unfold. Oh, but look at that shot! Taken out again. That's staying in that goal, able to get maybe about four saves between these two rounds so far. And it's looking like Carbon has just really cranked down the intensity. They're taking their time. They're getting these clears, but they're not stacking, as Catastrophe says in chat. Yeah, now Graham Cracker, there's another steal, so he's definitely showing up as just a, a really great defender. And as you can hear in the discussion, there may have been a tech issue of some sort, so they're calling it out uh, here as the score does go through from Angelic Sniper. Uh, so, eight points, uh, but we may be indeed looking at a restart shortly, depending. So, I'm not sure what, what well, the issue may or may not be, but... Uh... They're saying they're going to restart it. So, that gives us time to chat about anything. So, tell me what's happening in chat. Chat, tell me what's going on. So, what are you, what are you, what's going on with you, Palador? What's going on with me? Well, I'm sitting here casting with a uh, Sputnik Cobra. Oh, wait, wait, that's you. Oh, is, I mean, I think I'm here, I, but I am. So, I mean, this is a good match. How many, do we have any more matches tonight? I'm going to look at the... Sput the, <laughs> the safe assumption for the remainder of the next 10 weeks is there will always be a match tonight on any given night. <laughs> Like I said, this is the this is the beauty of 140 teams, and also kind of the the beast of it because that's a lot. <laughs> but I'm happy with it. So you can hear them coming there. They're trying. I guess the deal is they're trying to switch out. A the the deal is if you have uh, more than four rostered members and such, you you can't have. Um, five players in the arena at the same time is the main thing so they would have to drop out and then have a replacement potentially but no that's interesting anyway you guys you guys that is ideally as i do see some of our mods in the chat something that they can hopefully ping the <laughs> ping the teams about hinting but uh but yeah other than all that jazz uh, how's it going with you sputnik i, I know you got you got a lot of things uh going on you got the stack you know, your podcast you got uh redshift red I mean, if you have you have a lot of a lot of projects i mean i have so much time in COVID. i've got nothing to do but sit in my house so i i I love this game, and I I love staying involved. I'm so happy to be casting. I'm so happy to be back alongside you. But yeah, I have I launched Team Redshift. Uh, it's a brand new team. It's got Zux as the captain, Jiggy, J formerly known as JL Graham. It's got Citizen. It's got C Jason. It's got Supreme Buns. Yeah. And wait, how many was that? Is that five? I was literally counting and sticking <laughs> my fingers out, and I lost track. Don't ask me to math on stream. We know we all know how this goes. I can count up to three. <laughs> well, so I've got Team Redshift, and they're a great bunch of young men who are playing as hard as they can. They're coming together as a team, and they're really they're, they really surprised me. And I I'm they have this, the season hasn't even started, and I'm so proud of them already. Yeah. So that's you know I I, I can't say enough about them. Yeah, no, that's, that's really, really uh, cool, and one of the things, I mean, I, I know you got that team going, and there's, I was mentioning it earlier, even, it's not only the fact that we have a hundred or so brand new teams who've never competed in VRML or, uh, you know, Echo Arena for more than, you know, the last few months, but even among the, the base of uh, experienced players, the veterans who've been playing, uh, you know, in the PC version for these last uh, months to, to years, potentially, uh, there's also a bunch of changes there. It's hard to keep up. Yeah, you know, uh, so I'm I'm excited to see a lot of these teams, even some of the ones with the returning names, still slightly different rosters, even. So it's a lot of shakeups and what amounted to just what uh, five weeks or so since uh, the the finale of season one. Absolutely, and we're so, I'm so happy to be back. You know, this is just such a great element of my life. I love Echo Arena. It's always brought me intense moments of joy and happiness, and. There's always been a little bit of sorrow with losses. You know, you fight so hard in these games, and there are intense ups and downs. But, you know, that's the beauty of this game, and I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. 
Oh yeah, uh, I fully agree. Gr granted, I say that as someone who kind of traded it for casting. <laughs> but, rest assured, I still love Echo Arena, and I will still play it, as time permits, one of these days. But, let it, let it be known, I can still go. Hopefully someone vouches I mean, for I me in there. <laughs> I can still play. I mean, my favorite thing to play when I get it. My favorite thing to say when I get a save when I play these few days is, I'm not washed up. And I definitely think that's influenced a lot of people because I've definitely heard the name, the term washed up a lot more since I started saying that when I retired. Yeah, well, that and they were also a European finalist team just five weeks ago. So there you go. Uh, it's but... now fully embedded in the uh, Echo Arena vernacular. Yeah, and there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, unique uh, things like that. I know there's different projects going on. I won't, I guess, disclose because I don't know how much is actually uh, you know public or not yet. Well, but point is, there's a lot well, of uh, we? well, that's what I was saying. So careful where you go with that spot because I'm not sure. Well, but he, he he posted it on his Discord. We can we can promote it. Okay, okay. Well, I just I saw stuff earlier that suggested maybe it's not you know. Dim, we can you confirm? I can I can I can talk about it <laughs> if you're in the area. Anyways, I don't know if he's still in chat, but. Well, if we can't talk about Dimwees, then I'll I'll use that time to promote mine. <laughs> Confirm. Right, go ahead. Can we talk uh, about the thing about the the thing with a where you write stuff down? <laughs> you know the one, the thing. I don't know uh, how that project's going along. If it's unveiled yet or not. So he's writing a uh, a book of haikus dedicated to Echo Arena. Well, now that you spoiled it, and Dimwees saying I don't know, so I'm just gonna be safe and not go with that but uh point is what i was getting at there's a lot of echo history and i think as it continues to grow here we're gonna see we want to we want to be able to uh you know embrace that the, the past as well as we go into these uh this big future that it has ahead of it well haikus are well let me do this the stack promo so i i want to do the other promo because i want to throw it out there but i can't wait wait give give give, give us your promo but do it in haiku form well okay that's right <laughs> i have I have the stack. Yes, it is on when nest days. <laughs> yes, I regret everything. This episode is. Yes, yes. I I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do IQ. Uh, but no. Um, so this Wednesday I have this. My my uh, podcast is always on Wednesdays. And it's uh, an analytical dive into sports, esports, VR sports, you know, growing up with this. Well, well, I interview people of all ages. So it's, you know, everyone talks about their experiences and how VR has, you know, influenced their lives or how sports have influenced their lives. And it's on Wednesdays. This episode this week in two days is going to be a different time. It's 3 p.m. It's going to have a la cost and swift of Nantes esports, a French organization. And then following that week, I will have Nightfire and No Man of the VRML. Ooh. And then I still have to schedule the episode after that. Or I may end the season there. Depends on my workload. But nonetheless, it's going to be a great one. Yeah, that no, sounds good. And uh, people, I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll get a look at... Uh... You mentioned non esports as well. You know, one of our new mods, Alakos, and of course Swift, one of uh, the casters. As we do, oh, look at this. Continue on for the remainder of a uh, second round. But uh, just to finish that thought, yeah. And then, then on the VRML end, on the two weeks, uh, two episodes from now, people uh, can hear from Nightfire, see and hear from Nightfire, as well as No Man, one of the maybe less uh, common public faces of VRML. But trust me when I say the dude is a mastermind. He knows his stuff. So that'll be uh, fun to watch, and uh, I will be there. Oh, and Sir Dimwi, who I'm so glad to hear that he's doing this once again, will have the Echo, his podcast, back on Sundays. It's going to be midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. And he's saying it's going to be much more casual than Season 1. It's a terrific podcast. It is, it is terrific, and I can't say enough. So check it out. Yeah, and I'll echo that statement just the same. Uh, check out all the community efforts, lots of them. Uh, just like these players up here, putting on their own community effort in this community league, which is the Save VRML Season 2. And we're winding down the last two minutes of this uh, this round. And with Tickle Bridges getting possession, this 8-0 lead in favor of Corbin. 
Excuse me, under I've been calling them. The, have I been calling them the wrong names this whole time? They're, 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 they are. They're carbon indeed. They are carbon fiber. Okay, I I, not, not re fiber. I read the stream title. I got a little I got a little lost. So the, the stream title, of course, is not correct. Oh maybe yeah, on because the wrong channel. we we transitioned directly from the mat one match to the other. That's that would be why. Didn't have chance, but you know, what, taking his chance. It's tickle britches doing a tickling dance uh, with the ten points. Don't ask what that is. I don't know. I just had to make it work somehow. But shoehorning in the rhymes and shoehorning in the tenth point. There's a minute forty three left in this uh, match here, and a looking like quite potentially the carbon victory here after a little bit of delays. But you know what? They got back into it, and we're gonna finish this one out. Catastrophe coming through in chat saying, "Is there a game after this one?" Always. Now always. on this on the stream is another question, but there's yeah, always another game. As uh, Angelic Sniper uh, gets kind of a slap off of that clear attempt, couldn't grab the disc, but did actually at least manage to delay them a little bit. But that said, a deep clear is going to bounce off, and there's the uh, players, three out of the four, as has been frequently the case for Carbon, uh, getting uh, most of their players back just in a very quick manner. And with that clear, it will bounce off the upper ceiling, excuse me, and into the hands of Alduin. Alduin looking for that pass. It will fly past his teammate. His teammate will try and read it, almost get the interception, and Alduin back there to pick it right up again. And so a light handoff. Very nice to Angelic Sniper. One more extra one, but maybe one too many, as that will careen off uh, to the wall. But right back at him again, and through it goes for the goal. Looks like that was Big bot, I believe, a uh, save nearly, but just kind of phasing through and getting the goal and uh, kind of the self goal, which you know you don't like to see it. I, I think, I think uh, plays video game would agree. Looked like he kind of threw his hands up there. wasn't too happy, wasn't too thrilled, but nonetheless, uh, round has wound down, and this will be the 12 and 0, barring any last second happenings here. Which is with possession, he's probably gonna go for a long shot. I think he wants to. Nah, he's just gonna toss it up. And they're going to go for the long. They're going to go for a shot anyway. But this is only round one. That's t the restart is all. That's why. It's, oh, uh, all right. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm losing track of these things. I'm sorry. When you, no, it's all good. When we got a lot of – happens to be all the time. When you got so many matches happening at once and back-to-back -back on streams, quite ex uh, quite easy to get kind of caught up in or mixed up in the, the numbers, especially for folks like us or at least like me who uh, – you know, numbers get awfully confusing while I'm, you're trying to manage a bunch of other things, you know? So, you're forgiven, Sputnik. Rest assured. <laughs> oh, looking at these stats, though, and I don't have any stats because it's a rematch, and I always forget that. But I but... do, I think. Yes, I do. So, shout out on that note to uh, Ignite for continuing to help us out here with uh, just some awesome tools. Yeah, obviously, the Ignite bot, super popular uh, super popular on the discords and you know uh, stat tracking and uh, things like that and they help us out here too on the streaming end of things at VRML by just giving us the ability to retain our stats even through uh, crashes and and disconnects or timeouts and things like that so definitely a handy tool and much appreciation to the boys and ignite for all their efforts continually there's duel on that note with the ignite flame and many uh, asking, can I use your Netflix account? Uh, ask, ask Ignite. <laughs> but all right, so. What a, what, a, what a weird question in chat. And friends, and uh, in there as well from Ignite, of course, v, VTS King, kind of honorary, I suppose, and um, Sneak Evil saying Ignite shirt, Pog coming soon. Yeah. Also, Wolf, Wolf 23, those. can't forget him from Ignite. Did you see my mock-up for my Redshift shirt? I didn't, but I will very soon. <laughs> I'll have to find it and I'll post it. It was it was the logo over some beautiful uh, woodland camo. Well, I look forward to it, and uh, I have a feeling you're messing with me, but that's okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless, the Ignite sh uh, shirt is uh, pretty hype, I, I will say. Um, looking forward to getting that in the mail sometime in the coming weeks. But yeah, you know, support the community is what it comes down to is all I'm saying. You know, we've got a lot of people putting in efforts across the board, not just casters, but of course, uh, again, all the community podcasts we mentioned, uh, you know, from Sputnik, from Dimwi. I mean, we've got team merchandise. We've got all these different 
tools and applications that come in handy. Of course, we've got our casters here in VRML. We've got our moderators who I feel the desperate need to shout out constantly lately because I can't stress enough. <laughs> and I, I know day one was a little bit of a, you know, rocky start because of a website and it's a good problem to have because of all the activity don't get me wrong but like honestly this season would not have gotten off underway without the mods being as crazy active and on top of things as they have in the last two weeks it's been uh, pretty ridiculous so shout out to them as always absolutely and there's just so many to name just so i mean i can't even think of them all <laughs> well you'll see them there in the credits but uh here i'll attempt we got Wit and Nada returning from Season 1, of course. We have uh, Gilligan and uh, Sneaky Evil, Princess, Dandel McFabulous, uh, Echo Zero, Alacost. Was that eight? <laughs> yes, you mean it? I think that was like three. Three? <laughs> no. Oh, man. <laughs> Hold on. The ticker will save my life here. I have it in there somewhere. But, uh, yeah, it's it's... Just a you know fantastic effort from them all uh, all around. So you know, it's easy to uh, shout out the casters as always. I mean, you know, being the the voices that you hear on the stream. But really, it's a lot of the behind the scenes folk. And of course, Dakin Man, who's been working first of all ridiculously all day long uh, on the website and all weekend long for that matter on some cool new features that uh, definitely would be helpful going into the future. And you know, there's a lot of work that goes into it overall. So we're super happy to be back and to. Uh, you know, cast as many streams as we can. I'm, I'm going to try. My voice might fight me, but I can at least promise I'll, I'll cam a lot, even if I can't talk a, a ton. So, you know, we'll get it done. we got a great team of casters, around 20 or so, uh, returning and kind of recommitted to uh, firing off on the casting end of things, so looking forward to that. But, uh, yeah. Absolutely, and I'm, I'm chatted out. I don't think I have anything else to say. How do you feel, Palador? Uh, I feel pretty good, pretty pretty worn, but again, in a, in a good way. It's going to be a fun season. Uh, I was just making sure, kind of doing a double check on uh, the matches for tonight. And yeah, we do have some more matches being played, but kind of as, as I was mentioning earlier, that's almost always going to be the case. So I think for the moment, we're going to p uh, peace out here. There's one more match, uh, another 20 minutes or so, but uh, to be determined if that's streamed or not, but either or... Rest assured, you thought a uh, hundred casts in a month was something. You just wait till the end of this month. <laughs> Anyways, until then, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, I've been Palador. That's been Sputnik Cobra. He had so much for subtlety as well as Sir Dimwi helping on casts and cams throughout the night on both channels. So much appreciation to everyone as always. Uh, now be happy, be healthy, be safe, and be good to each other. Please, 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 as always. And we'll see you again very, very soon.